Hello, hello, hello. You know who it is. It's me, your boy, Sean John. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to bless you because I'm going to talk about some things that not long ago, I did not know. Someone had to bless me and tell these things to me. And now that I know them, it's my duty, it's my responsibility, my obligation to share them with you, to share them with this audience, to share them with anyone who's willing to listen. And so here's what I didn't know at first. I didn't know in my life when I was homeless, when I was struggling uh, for so many years, guys, I like when I grew up, there was no money in the house. There was no abundance. We lived in lack. There was never enough. We couldn't afford anything. It was a hard, hard lifestyle. Now, I'm not complaining because number one, we don't get to choose where we're born, right? Uh, that's the good Lord's work. So that ain't my part. He he does what he feels is right. I'm okay with it. It could have been worse. I could have been born with a health condition. I could have been born in another country where I have to bring my family and risk everything to get to America. Uh, I could have been born in a situation where I didn't have parents, a war zone or something like that. So I'm not complaining. I'm thankful. So I'm blessed to be where I am today. Uh, so don't get me wrong. This is not a video about complaining. I'm very thankful for, for where I am, where I was born and what I have. So I wish it would have been better. Yes, I, absolutely. But again, very grateful. So hopefully you guys take the same approach. Uh, I would have loved to have been born into a family that was worth millions, but it just didn't work out that way. And that wasn't in the cards for me. So, uh, again, when I was broke, when I was struggling, when I was homeless, three times I was homeless, uh, from my senior year in high school, I was homeless. I started living with friends, uh, cause this, this is going to shock you, but one day I came home from school and it wasn't just me. It was my other brothers too. And my mom was gone. So my mom ran away from home. Now, we I had run away from home plenty of times because I, I didn't know what to do when I was young. Starting probably, probably first time I ran away from home, I was about 12. But all of a sudden, you know, we came home from school in my senior year in high school. And my mom was gone. She had vacated the property, packed her things up, and left us. We had no idea where she was. Uh, no idea where she had gone to. We ended up finding her a few months later. She went to live with her boyfriend and straight left her kids. And which is not good. Please don't do that. But now, because we, we didn't always have great relationships with our mom. But now today, you know, all these years later, uh, we do have a great relationship. So thankful for that. I'm not a guy who's going to beat people up about decisions in the past. Just not that guy. Right. I love my mom. I get one mom. She wasn't the perfect mom. She she wasn't a great mom at all. It, it wasn't very supportive, wasn't any of that. Uh, when I hear people talk about how they couldn't make it, you know, they couldn't have been successful without their mom's support, I'll never know what that's like. So home was very abusive, very violent, and it took me a while to shake that. So, but again, I didn't choose that. Now that I'm older, you know, when you're young, there's not a whole lot you could do about it. But as you get older, now you're responsible for your own life. You got to start making your own decisions. And so now you got to look in the mirror and go, whatever I have in life, wherever I am in life, it's a result of how I think and the actions I take. That's it. And the actions you take, they're going to come from the mindset that you have. So you ever wonder why uh, you can work your butt off, work two jobs, work very hard, be good at what you do and still be paycheck to paycheck because you haven't really looked at the root of the issue. See, a lot of you guys, you want the fruit. You don't want the root. The root is to where the work is. The fruit is where you just get to show up and eat and have a good time and be merry. And that's a part of it. There's nothing wrong with enjoying fruit, but the problem is people don't want to put that work in. So you can't, but you know, I'm just here to tell you, you can't have the fruit without the root. You got to put in that root work. Got to put in some work. Now, does it have to be hard? No, work does not have to be hard, but work does have to be done. Does that make sense? Hope you guys are tracking. If you're not tracking, you're lacking, right? So again, uh, born into a tough situation, not a lot of money, always in lack. And so I never understood what the purpose of money was, never. When I grew up uh, or when I got older and I started making money on my own, uh, by the way, parents, don't rush your kids out of the house. It's very important to let them stay there. I know they're 18. Give them some give them some duties. I know you want your freedom. 
Uh, but I'm telling you, you're not helping them by pushing them out of the house. You're not always helping them by pushing them into college. That's another video I could do. I think college is pretty much irrelevant at this point, unless you need specialty training. Doctor, lawyer, brain surgeon, neurosurgeon, you need to go to college. There's a lot you need to learn, but there's some other things you don't need, right? And, but don't get me started on that. <clears throat> so, and by the way, let me know where you guys are watching from. Drop your city and state. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm always curious to know where people are watching from. We've had the Caribbean on here. We've had Africa on here. We've had Canada on here. I'm blessed to just be able to talk to this audience. Uh, think of what YouTube has allowed us to do. Just such an amazing gift, such an amazing tool. <clears throat> and so, by the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you don't mind. That way YouTube will share this video with more people who need this content. Thank you. And so, I always thought that money was something that you use to buy things. So I never, under, nobody ever taught me that money was something that you can use to invest or to make your life better. I always thought that money was something you sell your time, they pay, give you a paycheck and you spend it. And then you repeat the process. And then you're like, wait a minute, why am I always broke? I'm working my butt off, but I'm not gaining any traction. Right, and you're not gonna gain any traction because that's not what money is good for. Yes, there are some things you should buy, but if you just work in the, if you just go to work and have that consumer mindset, that Black Friday mindset, that Insta mindset, where I gotta have it now, uh, I call it the Insta scam, which means that you you've seen you're seeing all these things on Instagram, and you think these people are getting these things overnight, and they're not. There's a grind behind it but they don't show you the grind because they know you won't put in the work. So they just show you the finished paint, uh, the, the shiny paint job on the car because they know you, you'll go for that. But you won't go for the hard work behind the scenes. And so I'm asking you, to, I'm pleading with you, change your mindset, be willing to put in some work. So money should do three things for you. This is just my opinion, you don't have to agree. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree or not. If you're getting value from this video, smash the thumbs up. Money should be used for three things minimum of these three things. There are other things money could do, but these are things I focus on. Money should be used, number one, to get your time back. Why, number one? Because time is the most important thing you'll ever have on this earth. Time is the one thing you could lose and never get back. Nobody has ever gotten time back. Nobody, ever in the history of the world. So you wanna take money and be able to get your time back. I did an awesome video, uh, not long ago, go back and look at the videos about time and money. So first thing, time, money should get your time back, give you time freedom, right? Number two, money should give you financial freedom. That means you should have enough money in abundance to enjoy life. There are two ways you're gonna live this life. You're gonna live this life two ways, you're gonna live this life, how many? Two ways. You're either gonna live the life you have to live, or you're gonna live the life you want to live. My recommendation to you, understand that you only get one life on this earth. Please do everything you can to live the life you wanna live. Don't leave this world going, I did not live the life I wanna live, and die that way. Please don't. Live the life you wanna live, enjoy life, do as much as you can to get to where to your like, you know what? I love my life because there were days I wake up and I go, man, I hate my life. Now I wake up and go, I love my life. I'm enjoying my life. I love my kids. I love my family. I'm having a blast. We can travel. We can do what we want to do. We're financially free. I control my time. I control my family's time. Not in the sense that I, I, I manage my family, but in the sense that if they have something to do where they, like if my wife wants to, you know, like last year she had to go to work to get paid. Well, this year she doesn't have to go to work to get paid. I bought all that time back. My wife was making a hundred grand a year as a dental hygienist uh, here in Dallas, hundred grand. And so I had to be able to make that in order to replace her job's income. So I could tell them, hey, we don't need your paycheck. You can keep it. And it's been a blessing, it's worked out. And now all of a sudden, what? All of a sudden, she's home with me, we're getting to do things, we're enjoying life even more. 
So time freedom is one thing you should get from it. Number two, financial freedom. Buy the things you want to buy, right? Don't stress about money. How many of you would feel so much better if you had an abundance of money in the bank account where you don't have to stress about money or, or think about paycheck to paycheck? Well, you don't have to look at your account every morning and go, oh my gosh, I forgot that was coming out. I'm in the negative. Oh my God, just stressing. Finances can be very, very stressful. Stress can make you very unhealthy. Being unhealthy could cause you to die early. Heart attack, stroke, aneurysm, I'm telling you. Money contributes to these things. Money can, the lack of money can physically kill you. You may not think of it that way, but it can lead to things that'll kill you. So if money has that much leverage over our lives and is that powerful, then we need to make sure that we're in a position where it's not going to harm us or hurt us, right? And the last thing that money should do for you is change your lifestyle. Put your family in a better home, in a better neighborhood, better vehicles. You don't have to fix your vehicles every Friday because they're beaten up. Right, better vehicles, better home, better neighborhood, uh, better schools, better clothes, more vacations. We try to take a vacation probably here, probably every ninety days, because the fallacy of I'm on vacation every week, that 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 ain't fun. Most people aren't doing that, right? So you'll get worn out very quickly going trying to go on vacation every week. So. Uh, but if you take a vacation every three months, every four months, you know, something like that, you take three, four vacations a year, that's pretty good to me. That's all I need, right? Take a week or two, go hang out, hit the beach, spend time on the beach, come home back to Dallas. So, but money should change your lifestyle, should change where you eat, what you eat, all of that. You don't have to eat the chicken anymore. You don't have to eat the uh, from the, the lunch special. You can buy whatever you want. doesn't matter what it costs. You can leave a good tip. Lifestyle changes other people's lives. You know, our rule of thumb, how many adults at the table, We're gonna, if we get good service, $10 per adult. So if we're sitting there and it's a party of four, and <clears throat> doesn't matter what the bill is, if it's a party of four and we feel like, you know what, we agree we have really good service, very attentive, very alert, right? Because sometimes you go to restaurants and they let the drink just turn to ice water and then uh, eventually they'll come by. Or if I got to ask for it, you're not as attentive as you should be. Now, I'm not a jerk. If the restaurant is super busy and I see you got more tables than you can handle, I'm patient. <clears throat> Just have a great attitude, chin up, chest out, uh, speak, like, like speak with some volume, uh, you know, ask how everybody's doing, stuff like that. Whatever you got to do, small talk. I get it. I've done it. But rule of thumb for us ten dollars per person so you, we might walk out of there you, you we might leave a 30 40 dollar tip just like that and that that ain't mind-blowing but i've been a server of that that feels damn good when you go back into that kitchen <clears throat> and you're looking at that receipt like oh yes <clears throat> excuse me so think about those things money should be used again for for these these three things i, I believe should be used to get your time back, time freedom. The most important thing you'll ever have. Number two, should be used to make you financially free. No more stressing about money. Number three, it should be used to upgrade your lifestyle <clears throat> and give you the life that you want to live and not the life that you have to live. That's the difference. So if this video helped you, hit thumbs up, let me know it gave you some value. Uh, if you guys have a thought or an opinion or disagree about anything, go ahead and drop uh, that down in the comments. And But I promise you, if you stick to these things, it's going to change your life, right? Speaking of change your life, if you guys want to get into my free live Zoom training, you have to be on Zoom, it's going to be coming up <clears throat> Thursday night, this Thursday night, 7 p.m. Texas time, so whatever that is for you, Texas is Central Standard Time. And I'm, if you just give me about 45 minutes to an hour, we're gonna do Q&A, so I'm limited on how many people I'm gonna let in because I don't want it to be too crowded where I can't get to everybody's questions because they're popping up on the screen so fast I don't get to get to them all. Uh, so I don't wanna be bombarded. I do wanna answer your questions if you have any. But what I do 
on that class, on that training, is I just teach you how to use your smartphone to start a business, uh, teaching you how to do three things, book customers, take deposits, that's where you get paid, and then dispatch the work to someone else. So book, deposit, dispatch, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Three easy steps, I'm gonna walk you through how all of this stuff is done. It's not hard, it's the same thing that Uber does, Instacart does, Lyft does, Airbnb does, uh, Grubhub, on and on and on. All of these companies are middleman companies. They don't do any of the work. You guys are out there working for Uber, picking up strangers, putting them in your backseat. The worst place you can put them is behind you. And you don't know what kind of day these people are having, and you gotta put them in your car just to make a few dollars, beating your car up. You're gonna need a new car after that. And to me, it's just not worth it. But these companies are worth billions because they use the middleman fundamentals. All they do it's find someone with a car who's willing to give you a ride, find someone who needs a ride, connect the two, and then they get paid. So I'm gonna teach you how to find a customer who needs some service help, find a service provider who's willing to help them, connect the two, you get paid. Book, deposit, dispatch. When a connection is made, you get paid. It's that simple. I've been doing it since 2020. First year, 77 grand, not a lot, but I didn't know what I was doing. Fast forward 2024, on pace to make $350,000 this year. Let me tell you, that's not a million dollars a year. I understand, but it changes my life. My life has completely changed. I told you my wife doesn't have to go to work anymore. She still works from time to time because she's she keeps her license active or something like that. But we don't need her paycheck and we, they can't afford her time, right? They can't afford to buy it from me. I, I'm willing to pay too much for it. So... If, if if we have something to do, hey, you're not you don't have to work that day. You don't you, you're not working that day. And she's like, hey, I'm good, guys. I'm not coming in. We don't need your paycheck. That's a good feeling. I just want to tell you because it wasn't always that way. It was stressful. But now it's like, we don't need your money. We got money. We have our own business. We built it, right? And so if you want to learn how to do it, like my other students, by the way, uh, I try to get students on uh, to come on the Zoom and then try to tell you like what their experience has been like and so that you can learn and uh students have been killing it i appreciate all of you guys and girls coming on and sharing your experience and it's just been awesome and so we i just want to bless you guys as much as i can so if you want to get in that live free training just type the word middleman in the comments below middleman one word in the comments below and that's all you have to do. And then I'll see you in that training coming up Thursday night. If you get an invite, you're invited. If you do not get the invite, uh, then that means I've hit capacity and I can't have anybody else in there because there's gonna be too many people for me to interact with and answer questions, right? And so, and I love to do that. So just bear with me. So don't miss this opportunity to change your life. If you're not where you wanna be, then please, if you don't mind, jump into class. If I can teach you how to make an extra three, four, five thousand dollars a month starting out using only your phone without having to go to a job, without having to leave your house, would it be worth it to spend 45 minutes to learn that? Okay, good. Glad you said yes. Well, type the word middleman in the comments below and I'll see you in the live training. Guys, have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day. And remember, money should do three things for you. Get out of the buy-in mind mindset. Money should buy your time back, give you time freedom, right? give you financial freedom, and then give you lifestyle freedom. But those are the three freedoms that I focus on. You should probably do the same. See you guys in the next video. Peace.